Um, we, we're gonna have, yeah, we're gonna have to kill some Zeeks here. And we do have, uh, a dog to help us. Looks like we have a retro. Oh, shit! Uh, <laughs> the damn tornado hit us. Welcome everybody to a new sister series here on Rebirth that I'm going to do on the channel. Uh, if you didn't know this, I have already started playing uh, Rebirth The Purge and have been thoroughly enjoying it. But I found out after I started The Purge, because I came in blind, in fact I've never even played Rebirth itself, uh, you know, when it first came out. Um, I, I went in blind to it and I did that on purpose because I wanted to just give it a try and see what it was like without, you know, reading up on it first. Uh, but I found out after I kind of started that uh, when you play The Purge, which is a, a scenario you can play, um, it disables or changes a lot of the game's settings. Um, so the first the thing th uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you is I'm going to continue The Purge series. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm not stopping that. But I also want to experience a Rebirth the way, you know, that it's intended to be experienced, at least in terms of, you know, playing the mod normally. And so... Uh, this is going to be a sister series, and we'll start that. And we'll we'll just kind of play them, you know, side by side, and just have some fun with it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start a new world here. It's just going to be a random world. Um, I'm using uh, the today's date, which is November the eighth, uh, as the seed. It's going to be an 8K world, and I'm calling it Rebirth Two. Now, in the settings, uh, let's actually go back. Uh, let's just look at the settings really quick. So, um, yeah, I'm going to change a couple of these things. Um, I'm going to set the difficulty back down to Nomad, which is the middle difficulty. And the reason for that is because this mod, um, kind of like Ravenhurst, uh, really is really hard. <laughs> and in a good way. Um, and I normally play Seven Days to Die, uh, especially Vanilla and even Undead Legacy on Insane Nightmare settings. Um, and I have ever since Alpha 16. But uh, knowing what I now know about uh, Rebirth, I, I think that's going to be impossible if not um so hard that it won't even be fun so we're gonna we're gonna keep the the difficulty on nomad uh which is the middle of the road uh, i am gonna keep the uh days to 90 minutes because i like a little bit longer days keep the xp multiplier the same on the basic settings we will have seven day hordes um with no um you know range uh warning in the morning we'll keep it at 32 enemies i could try 64 but i think 32 is going to be a little bit better in terms of performance now i'm also going to set the zombie day speed back to walk um because one of the things that i did on the purge is i set them to sprint and it caused me a lot of problems particularly with melee just because they moved so fast so uh for the normal rebirth playthrough we're going to just keep them on walk however i am going to keep nighttime speed uh, at nightmare and I'm going to keep feral sense on at night so nights um, nights are very dangerous okay so that's kind of my trade off there because normally you know I wouldn't play on walk uh, I would play well normally I would play on, on nightmare even at daytime if it was normal seven days so that's kind of my compromise there okay so yeah we're going to have to be super super careful at nighttime. Um, all right airdrops will be every seven days I will have the markers turned off on that um, and then um, I'm disabling loot respawn time because, you know, once you loot a, a container, then it's looted, right? So we're going to keep that on. All of this is the same. I am having the daily quest progression limit go up to eight. Though my understanding is that in the normal mod, um, you c the trader jobs don't pay out as much as as they would in vanilla. So we'll kind of see how that works. You don't even have trader jobs in the purge, by the way. They're, they're disabled completely. Um, multiplayer stuff doesn't matter. And then let's let's just take a quick look at the rebirth settings. So, in general, uh, I'm going to keep almost all of these on default because I want to kind of get to the you know the the default experience of the mod, kind of the way I'm assuming Ramsey, um, well I wouldn't say wants us to play it, but what he recommends that we play. Put it that way. So uh, I'm going to change a couple of things here, and um, so let's do this. Uh, this is where you would change the to the to the purge scenario and he is going to add um new scenarios in the future but right now it's just the purge but again if you're if you're thinking about playing this mod um and and you want to just play the mod normally don't 
don't turn the purge on because as soon as you turn the purge on it completely changes everything and overrides a lot of stuff um okay but do play the purge at some point whether you want to start with it or not just be aware you know that it does it, it changes a lot of things okay spawn confirmation i want that to be on because that just allows me to choose when to actually log into the game that doesn't affect gameplay at all uh in terms of the initial biome um i don't want to potentially randomly spawn in the wasteland <laughs> or some of those other places so we're going to go ahead and tell it to actually start us in the forest um, jump start this gives us some stuff at the at the start we're not going to do that we're going to start right from the get-go without any additional or initial i should say help um traders protection is on now this is disabled in the purge so that's that's one thing um we can't loot the traders which i'm fine with um tornadoes can happen on horde night only tornadoes are well tornadoes and they can wreck your base so on the horde night tornadoes can happen and then the multiplier, I guess, is just something that makes it, it determines how strong it is, right? Uh, max jobs, all that, we're going to keep the same. Uh, repeat PO jo I jobs. I would kind of turn some of that off normally, but again, this is, I want to I want to get the default experience with the mod, aside from changing a few things that aren't really going to affect the gameplay itself. Infested jobs, this is interesting because when you take a job it might it may be infested and you don't know that until you actually get into the poi so that'll be fun um let's see what else did i want to change here uh vehicle density pick up vehicles i'm going to turn that off because that's not realistic so we're going to uh, so that means you can only pick up your bicycle secure vehicles no nah, that doesn't matter for single player and then what else i i wanted to I wanted to turn off or, or at least turn yeah i want to turn down the fog uh, just because fog sucks <laughs> uh and screen shake let's turn screen shake off too because that that can tend to give me a little bit of a headache but you know again mo mo these things are not really going to affect the the gameplay itself it's just uh, additional things uh this does have a cool lock pick mini game which is awesome because i hate the vanilla uh lock picking and then um Tree density is set to 300%. And this this is a really neat effect because it, it makes the forests in the game, you know, feel a lot more realistic, but it does also affect performance. So we'll keep it on 300%, but, it, you know, we can always turn that down a little bit if we need to. We won't be auto replanting trees. We will be using auto farming, which means we have to also pay attention to things like water and heat and light, which is really cool like that. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to keep all of this the same. Events are just random things that happen that can spawn like bosses and if you kill them you get extra loot stuff like that um screamer nights so um i guess this just means screamers can show up at nighttime so we'll keep that on the default lower which can happen every four to six days and it doesn't happen until we actually start reaching uh, or until we reach level 22. maximum screamer spawns and, oh, okay. So I think this is like, you know how you can get an escalation. So it just caps it at six, which is fine. Cause that can get completely out of control. Um, Ascension. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about these. What Ascension does is it basically makes the Zombos um, stronger as I level up. So that way I don't get like godlike powers and they, you know, and they just stay their usual weak self um natural selection is kind of the same um the same idea and rebirth is where you can kill a zombie and then they have a chance to come back to life and as a stronger version of of them themselves right? you know the one thing i'll tell everybody especially if you're new to this is go to the discord they have so much good information you know a really nice faq section and a lot of good helpful you know people that are, are willing to help uh, and that's the best way to learn about the mod and it's also where you need to go to download the mod too i will have the link to the discord in all of the descriptions of these videos by the way okay so yeah these are just multipliers uh, we're keeping all that stuff off he does have a horde night plus setting um which makes horde nights uh, it says it's an alternate horde night experience um, I'm going to keep those off again for our first time through, but it might be interesting to play around with that maybe later on or in, a, in another playthrough, uh, you know, at some point later on. Okay. Um, hunting distance that has to do with how far your, 
companions will detect enemies and that sort of thing. Um, outbreaks are they're hordes that that won't stop. That they just keep coming until a certain time limit um, goes by. So that's what the outbreaks are, and it'll be interesting to see how that works. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click the start button and I will bring you guys back when the game is created and we'll jump in and we'll play normal rebirth, which is still crazy as hell. <laughs> See you guys in a minute. All right, guys, let's spawn on into the world here. Look at that werewolf. We're going to pro. Oh shit. Probably going to run into him at some point. Uh, all right. So <laughs> I knew this was actually going to happen. When you uh, first, when it first spawns you in, you've got those are tornadoes, by the way. If that wasn't obvious, um, we we're gonna have yeah, we're gonna have to kill some Zeeks here, and we do have uh, a dog to help us. Looks like we have a retro. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> the damn tornado hit us. Okay, uh, yeah. So it gives us a dog to start off with, which is cool. Uh, we have companions. Oh, wow, and. Okay, here comes the Zeke. So we gotta kill, I believe we have to kill all these Zombos. So let's do it. And our dog should, yeah, the dog's helping. All right, and then, okay, we gotta, we gotta watch out for the reach on these guys. It's pretty, pretty substantial. But yeah, we basically just run around and kill these assholes. And then when they're dead, then, then we do the next thing. Okay, this guy that's got the glowing stuff on his hands, that means he's a he's a special resistant zombie, and if it's yellow like that, I believe that means he's an explosion resistant zombie. And those will actually be important to us later on. Because I have decided I don't think I mentioned this yet. Oh shit. Stamina. Um, I'm gonna play the Witch Doctor class. It sounds very interesting and very unique, and so that is what we're gonna do, and What'll happen is these special zombies will drop body parts that we're going to need to concoct undead companions later on. So it'll be fun. All right, so let's get these guys all killed here. I'm glad we have that dog. This would have been a little more difficult without him. <laughs> Ouch. She's uh, enraged. Let's have our dog help us here. Yeah. Get him, dog. What to figure out what our dog's name's going to be. It comes with a, a name, but you can rename it. Okay. We can loot Zombos in Rebirth, and we are going to make this thing called an auto-looter as soon as we can, which will automatically loot the zombies. And if you think that sounds kind of cheaty, well... The thing is, is, you know, we're going to be running into massive... Okay, there's the, one of those body parts I was talking about. Uh, we're going to be running into massive hordes in this, uh, you know, like wandering hordes and whatnot in this mod. And it gets to the point where it's it's just way too tedious to loot every single one of them. So, um, you know, the auto looter is just a, a lifesaver when it comes to that. Okay, so um, I guess... That, I mean, there's more Zeeks over there, but... It wants us to talk to the trader, so let's go ahead and do that. And again, keep in mind that the purge, which is what I have been playing, is a lot different than the normal mod. So I'm I'm new to this. Um, I have I have been you know reading up on it a little bit on the Discord. So this isn't a blind playthrough like my first one, but there's still a lot of stuff we're gonna have to learn here. And I never did play Rebirth when it first came out. I, wa I wanted to. It looked really interesting, but I just didn't get around to it. So, yeah, very cool. All right. I guess at some point these Zeke's quit coming, right? Let's see if we can burn Big Mama. <laughs> okay. There she goes. Okay. What is our pooch's name? Romeo. All right. Romeo looks like a uh, a golden retriever. I think that's what he is. Or a yellow lab. One or the other. Uh, in my perch playthrough, I have a black lab, and his name's Nick. Okay. Let's close that. Um, are we? Okay, yeah. So we are invulnerable. The trader is not 
invulnerable in the purge, so that's why I wasn't sure about that. Let's talk to Trader Wrecked. Uh, since we don't need to worry about them getting in here. Didn't we? <laughs> okay, so welcome to the settlement. You're going to have to show us your capabilities. Grab a backpack and I'll give you a little advice. Starter backpack, strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, or charisma. Uh, I would, I, I don't know this, but my guess is that intelligence is what a witch doctor would want. This gives us a uh, deep cuts, lucky looter, physician, oh, physician would be nice, and treasure hunter. Um, this gives us sexy T-Rex, 69er, and mother load. Cardio and parkour, pack mule, healing gut, iron, daring adventure, better barter, charismatic. I know we need charismatic nature to to hire NPCs, which we can do, but I'm I'm actually kind of feeling intelligence. I, I, I particularly like physician. That's going to be handy. Um, but we'll have access to all of these attributes eventually. Okay, so yeah, let's do this, the intelligence starter pack. All right, you should open that pack. It contains some, some things that will boost your genetics. Don't ask me, I just work here. I haven't seen you before, and if you're new here, you'll need some training if you want to survive. Find Briston. He's set up within this compound, and he'll get you situated. Here's what he looks like. As for myself, I'm just a plain old trader, but feel free to come back, as I do have some jobs you could do if you feel like earning a bit of cash. That's about the nicest speech I've ever heard wrecked give. <laughs> okay, and this is just a little bit uh, backstory about wrecked. Uh, pause the screen if you want to read that. It's kind of funny. Uh, I've been, you know, I've already gone through it. So, okay. Um, let's go ahead and uh, open this. And what that did? Oh, nice. Okay, so that gave us a wow, cool. Uh, what these are are these are little uh, genetic. Um, blueprints, right? And if you get enough of them, then you can use them to craft a mod that will increase one of your attributes. Uh, Deep Cuts, Lucky Looter, or Treasure Hunter in this particular case. And it looks like uh, we have an injection for intelligence. So before we do that, um, let's, let's look at that really quick. So if we go to here. Um, yeah, my dog's here, right? Okay. So if we go to here, um, this is our intelligence here. So it's Lucky Looter, Physician, Treasure, Hunter, and Deep Cuts. And, um, okay, so right now we're at 0.47%. One of the cool things about this mod is there's multiple ways that you can level, but one of those ways, in fact, I would say even the, the main way that you level is by doing, which I absolutely love. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this. All right, and then that gave us, uh, okay, about 10% uh, of intelligence. Now, this will slowly level over time based upon, again, our actions. Uh, and once once we hit level one, fragile, then we can either purchase or find a skill book, which will allow us then to invest in either deep cuts or lucky looter physician or treasure hunter. So that's how that works, okay? Um. So we're going to go uh, for the witch doctor skill. Um, and so here's how you do that. If you don't have the game give you the, um, the skill books from the get go, uh, what we have to do is we have to craft a, a bone scythe because that's the melee weapon that the witch doctor uses. And we have to craft a pipe machine gun because the gun that the witch doctor uses is an assault rifle. And then we have to use those things, and by using those things, we'll eventually gain enough experience to where we'll be able to craft the class book and unlock the Witch Doctor class, which will then make us an actual Witch Doctor um, and give us the benefits of doing that. Um, and I, d I barely know about it. I mean, it'll just a little bit from reading, so it's going to be fun to kind of discover how all of that works. Uh, nice. We get, we get to keep our boost injector, too, because normally you would have to buy that. Okay, so... Um, talk to Briston. Briston is over here by the vending machines. Okay. Uh, take some time to look through my inventory as I'm the guy who can help you gain benefits from your improved genetics for a price. Uh, speaking of, here's a free, uh, free generic genetics boost. Use it wisely and don't say I've never done anything for you. Now go to talk to Elias. He will help you get familiar with class training. There's no secret, really. Kill some zombies, kill some more, and aim for the head. Now get going. Okay. So he gave us... A generic, uh, I've actually never used these, but I'm assuming we just get to choose 
what we want to do. So what we have to do is do recipes and okay, here we go. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're sporting intelligence, man. So that's what we're going to do. And then what we do here is we do recipes again to put it in the injector. And, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure if intelligence was the best one for us to take, but that's what we're starting with. Because usually, you know, when you're doing like a mage or a wizard type of character, intelligence is a common attribute, you know, that they would have. So, okay, now we also have these. Um, and so if we go recipes, we can... Oh, nice. Okay. So I'm thinking... I don't know if our scythe is going to do, I, I, mean, I would assume it would do cut damage, but I'm actually more inclined to do the physician just so we have the healing. And man, I am constantly breaking or spraining my leg in the purge and it's such a pain in the ass. So physician, at least in, uh, oh, we got to do this in the forge. Uh, at least in vanilla, you know, even if you just take the first point in physician, then splints and, st and so forth will heal your heal you right away. All right, so yeah, we're going to need to craft this in here. And to do that, is it going to require like any of this stuff? And it's it's going to obviously obviously it's going to require wood. So if we do intelligence. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. So it's this one here. Read this to further train a physician. One perk book can be read after completion of each of the following levels. Okay, so is it just because I don't have wood in there? Okay, let's go get, grab some wood and see if that's the deal. Now, the other thing um, that Briston will do for you is you can trade ammo for him. So since we're going to be using the pipe rifle, uh, we're going to want 762. So if I find nines or shotgun shells or, or magnums, I can trade those to him for the equivalent value in 762s, which is really cool. Um, and then uh, he's also he's also a, uh, what what is it, a vendor, right? So we can sell stuff to him, and this is where we would buy, like if we wanted to buy another intelligence book to, to level. Uh, but it's pretty expensive, you know, very expensive for us at this point in time. Okay, let's head out here, and we need to... Oh, shit. We want to stay away from the bear for sure. We need to kill these dudes and... Um, damn, there's zombies all over the place. Uh, we need to get some wood is what we need to do. So this is also set by default to... Uh, to show us our like our stamina and our health on the on the left hand side of the screen, it kind of in the center of the screen, uh, it'll pop up, which is not something I actually turned on in the purge because I thought it would be distracting. But we'll we'll play with it for now and see see how it does. Yeah, we we definitely want to stay away from that bear. And that's the other thing too about rebirth, man. There are animals all over the place, and most of them are not nice. <laughs> so we got to really be careful about that. Okay, we'll loot Marlene. Now, our dog will uh, slowly heal over time, but we do have to be careful of them, um, and we can, you know, tell them to stop fighting and teleport them to us and that sort of thing. All right, so I guess we need to make... Can we make a stone axe? We should be able to. Uh, let's track that. We're going to need small stone sticks and ropes. Uh, we're also going to want goldenrod and chrysanthemum because we can make some early game, fairly decent early game food with it. But food is all overhauled. I mean, everything is overhauled. It's almost, it, it's 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 almost like it. It's a game that looks like Seven Days to Die, but plays so different in a lot of ways. Man, that dog is so useful. I didn't have a a dog when I started the purge. I was on my own, baby. Okay, so 
Uh, we need to find uh, stones and we need to make some rope, which we just do out of grass. It looks like we just need one piece. I, we might be able to put those sticks in the forge. I don't know. I've never actually tried that. Okay, let's pick up some stones here. We need a total of four. And now we should be able to make the axe. So we can get some wood, so we can go back to the forge and craft that that uh, genetic mod. Leave my dog alone, you asshole. Earl. Zombie Earl. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, she's okay. Or he. You know what? I think... I think... I'm feeling like... This is a she, and her name is Goldie. I know, that's a super original name for a golden retriever, huh? <laughs> hey, don't judge me. Okay, so uh, we got the axe. Now let's put that down here, and let's get a little bit of wood so we can do that forge. I'm hoping that's all we need is the wood, and it's not going to make us do a bellows and an anvil and all that. We will find that stuff eventually, but it's not going to be readily available to us. Look at Goldie. Isn't she adorable? All right. Do I have bones? I don't. All right. Do we have a gut pile around here? I want to make that bone scythe because what we have to do, if we want to be a witch doctor, is we have to start using the bone scythe to work towards the class book. Um, we gotta be careful, man. I'm, a, I'm afraid of the bears. I really am. I don't want to mess with them at all. Not at this point anyway. And you can pick stuff just by pressing E. Um, I, I'm, you know, I forget to do that sometimes. So I still hit stuff with the knife, but yeah, you can do that. Uh, we do need to be cognizant of nighttime too. Oh my God. How, how did it get to be 1900 already? We must not have started in the first thing in the morning. So yeah, that's a thing. Um, we're going to have to find a place to hole up for the night because, you know, all the zombies are on nightmare speed and feral sense. Where the hell is a, a gut pile? They're usually all over the place. I, can I? No, that's just part of the texture. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go back and, and get this mod crafted. This guy... Um, when we reach level 15, we can talk to him and then he will, for a price, everything costs something, right? Um, I don't actually need to let her in here because she, she'll just kind of teleport to me, but, um, he'll allow us to call, um, a mercenary to come and help us when we get in trouble, but we won't have access, of course, to that till level 15. All right. So if I put this in here, recipes. We want physician mod. It does require an anvil. Son of a beech nut. Okay. Well, we'll find we'll find that in loot. Let's keep this wood with us because we're probably gonna need it. Let's go over to Briston and exchange our ammo. I'm a little bit uh Oh, I don't know, what's the word? Disappointed maybe? That it's already night, man. We haven't had time to do anything yet. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, okay. And also, where are all the gut piles? They're usually all over the place. Uh, that, what is that? Oh yeah, activated charcoal. We don't need that right now. Um, let's go over here. I keep, you know, um, when I get close to this house, I keep expecting the purge indicator to hop up, uh, pop up. But of course, it's not going to here. Oh, there's a gut pile, finally. Damn, son. Okay, now, can I craft the bone scythe with this? 
bone scythe. Uh, yeah, we have enough bones. We just need to make some more rope. Okay, we can do that. I said we needed three pieces of rope. All right, now we'll come back to here. Recipes, bone scythe. There we go. Look at us and our bad selves. Um, all right, we're going to put that in the uh, the number one slot when it's finished. Get him, Goldie. <laughs> Look at this thing. Awesome. Okay. So, um, tell you what, let's, we, we gotta, we gotta find a secure place for the night. Um, and remember the zombies are feral too, so they'll be able to detect us really easy. Starting to question why the hell I use that setting. <laughs> uh, I'm going to assume we cannot, oh, here's another bone pile. We can't camp out in the, the trader at night. And I wouldn't do that anyways, because it's invulnerable. Where's the fun in that, right? Uh, but we really need to... If we could find some nails, I could make a couple of... Oh, shit. We don't even have a toolbox. Uh, we got to make this. And we need six nails to make it. Okay. So, yeah, this is kind of like Undead Legacy and Ravenhurst, where you need... Uh, extra stuff to, to craft a lot of things. You can't just craft everything in your inventory like you can in vanilla. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. And we can get nails off of probably this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. How many nails do we need to make this? Uh, let's actually track it. Track. All right, we need six in total. And then with the toolbox, we can make ourselves a couple of frames, and then we can nerd pull up onto a building for the night. We've got to hurry, though, man. We're running out of time here. Holy shit. Yeah, I, again, I, I didn't wasn't paying attention to the time. I, I figured we'd start at the morning and have an entire day to get our feet under us, but apparently that is not the case. It's okay. We'll deal, man. We will deal. One more nail. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. We're actually going to need a few more nails, too, but let's focus, first of all, on getting the toolbox. Um, so we're going to need to make eight pieces of rope. Uh, keep in mind, too, that it's going to be... It's going to get really dark at night. I mean, seriously dark. Which is very cool, but it is going to make it difficult for all of us to see what the hell's going on. You and me both. Let's see if we can get a honey out of here. And more wood. Okay, no honey. Craft one more rope. And now we can craft the toolbox. Yeah, it's a little bit different start than what I did with the purge. Because the purge gave me some stuff to start with, including the toolbox. So I, I just had that. I didn't have to, you know, I didn't have to make it. So uh, let's put that down. And then we'll track the building block. And we're just going to need... Uh, more nails. So we'll leave that there. We can pick it back up by breaking it. So, yeah, we need th three nails per block. I would like to have... Jesus, it's getting late. Um, can we take this apart? Uh, that doesn't seem to be giving us the same stuff as the others were. There we go. I mean, even just two blocks would work. We could just swap them out and zigzag up the side of the building, you know, kind of thing. There we go. Okay, so that's uh, that's two blocks. Um, but we have a, just a tiny bit more time. Let's see if we can make one or two more. Um, here, let's also track that again just so I can keep an eye on it. Okay, there's enough for another one. Uh, it's really hard to see that toolbox. Okay, and then just three more nails and then we can make this work. There's nails. 
Good. Okay, that gives us four blocks. Craft that. Okay. Um. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, so we have to break this to pick it up. Okay. Now, we've got we've got to get up on top of a roof here. Is it safe for us to get up here? We have a, a partial ladder, but I don't I don't want to use it because the zombies could then use it too. So let's Are we gonna have to deal with this asshole? Yeah, let's kill him first. I have no idea what's up there, but we are so running out of time right now. Oh god! We'll call the we'll call the dog up to us when we get up here. Man, I hope there's nothing bad up here. Like, you know, vultures and shit. Is that a zombie or a corpse? Um What am I doing? Oh. Yeah, I think it's a zombie. Is it? Yeah. She's fast. Oh, fuck. Okay. Hey, we got some cat food. That's the creepy granny lady. Okay. Grab all of that, grab all of this, and then I think that's all hopefully happening down below <laughs> and not us falling through the through the roof. This suck. Wow, this is this is kind of a rough start, man. I'm not gonna lie. This is all, uh, this is a harder start than uh, the purge was, but again, I I you know I got all that stuff right off the bat from the purge. Okay, so we can't do anything about the Zeeks that are currently aggroed. And this appears to be a, a fairly a fairly stout building uh, made out of concrete. So what we're going to do is we're just going to crouch down here and be as quiet as possible. Um... Can I make a campfire? I can't. We don't have enough stone. Okay, well, it's too late to, to go after that now. All right, I want my dog to shift period. Hunting. No, I don't, control. I don't want you on hunting. I want you on Alt. just to stay put. I don't want her to aggro on something and then go take off and cause problems. All right, so yeah, we're gonna just have to hang out here until morning, um, and I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not even gonna move because I don't want to attract any any of the Zeeks with their feral scents. Uh, but let's look at a couple things. So we've used our, yeah, we've used the scythe a little bit, so we're starting to get credit for it. And at some point, when we've used it enough, it'll unlock a book fragment that we can use to start making the the first half of the um of the witch doctor book okay so that's how that works and oh look at that we'll be able to get a horror panther at level one that'll be nice so i guess we just do, 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 do. i guess this is where we we track the progress of the scythe i'm not sure if there's another spot where we would do that or not if we go here, which dog? Oh, here we go. Ah, okay, yeah, this is actually what I was looking for here. So, yeah, so we're 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 basically five point two three percent, and at some point, and I'm not sure. Oh, is that already unlocked? 
Witch, bo uh, Witch Doctor book fragment. Witch Doctor class book. No. No, they're not. So so this is the top half. This is the bottom half. And, and the scythes, um, or the bottom half is for scythes. So at some point, we will, um, after we've used the scythe long enough, we'll be able to unlock this. And then the other thing we need to do as soon as possible is we need to make a pipe machine gun um, so that we can start working towards the tactical rifle or the, the top half of the book to, you know, make the, the whole book. And I have no idea how long that's going to take us to do. We might get there in the next episode. I doubt it, but we might. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we basically have to work towards doing. Okay. Well, guys, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here because there's just not really anything else I can do. I'm, I'm pretty much pinned down here for the entire night. Um, and so meet your trainer. Oh, that's, that's, um, uh, that other guy that we need to go talk to, but we'll do that tomorrow. So yeah, I'm just going to hunker down here. I'm not going to do anything at all, not make any noise and wait till morning. And then once morning comes, we will proceed from there. We're, we're going to have food and water issues very quick, but I just didn't have enough time, you know, to, to get enough stuff together to do that. I, and the thing is too, is, Oh, I guess we can eat eggs straight up, but I mean, two food, <laughs> most of this stuff, like the canned food, uh, we'll, we'll, you, you know, you have a chance to get dysentery. So we can't really just safely eat that straight up, at least not without a vitamin, which we obviously don't have. Um, we can eat the raw veggies, but again, they just, they don't really give you much. So we'll, you know, we'll deal with it. We'll figure it out and have fun. All right, guys, thanks for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.